Barbara Walters, who has been on the NBC Today program for 13 years, signed a contract with ABC Today. Her contract for a rumored million dollars a year specifies that she'll co-anchor the ABC Evening News, among other network appearances. I'd like to say they made me an offer I couldn't refuse, but here was my chance, historic, they told me, to be the first female co-anchor of a network news program. The network saw their anchor people, Walter Cronkite, Huntley and Brinkley, Harry Reasoner, as figures of authority, and there were great concerns about putting a woman in one of those chairs. In those days, nobody thought it was possible. Everyone's talking about Barbara Walters joining Harry Reasoner on ABC. Well, there was an uproar about it because those of us who had spent our entire lives working in the news division looked upon people who had done things like the Today Show as not really being pure news people. We regarded Barbara as being brought in as just a pretty face. The notion that anybody would earn that much money immediately confirmed all the worst prejudices that our critics had. We weren't really news people, we were showbiz people. I have a new colleague to welcome, Barbara. <laughs> Thank you, Harry. Barbara was not from the hard news side, and she was making a million dollars a year. I mean, no journalist had ever been paid a million dollars before. I mean, she was not Walter Cronkite. Harry Reasoner and Barbara Walters on the ABC Evening News. Everybody was amazed by the money. Even the president of Egypt was amazed. When she sat down with Anwar Sadat, he brought it up. How do you like a, a million dollars job? <laughs> I, I must tell you quite frankly, you know, uh, you know the salary of my job. It is 12000 only. And I'm working day and night, Barbara. Barbara faced another obstacle to acceptance. He was called Harry Reasoner. Harry was, by his own admission, a male chauvinist. He once said to me, you hired too many women in this newsroom. You know more than I would, like, Barbara. <laughs> I was afraid you'd say that. That's tonight's news. Harry Reasoner did not want a partner. If he was going to have a partner, he certainly didn't want me. He didn't want someone without that, quote, hard news background. And he certainly didn't want a woman. I had a little trouble in thinking of what to say to welcome you. Uh, not to sound sexist, as in that you brighten up the place, or patronizing, as in that wasn't a bad interview, or sycophantic in his, how in the world do you do it? The decision was to welcome you as I would any respected and competent colleague of any sex by noting that I've kept time on your stories and mine tonight. You owe me four minutes. <laughs> the news business was a man's business. Three, take three, Q Barbara. Good evening. He was insulted. He felt he was being degraded. Harry could never really accept me. Thank you very much, Barbara. Good night. The tension was palpable. I mean, you could barely be in there. It was described uh, quite correctly as coming into a room after a married couple had had a nasty argument. It became a joke. It made it into, uh, the feud made, it, made its way into uh, Johnny Carson's monologue. I have to shoot an arrow into Barbara Walters. Ah, uh, you mean you're making her fall in love with Harry Reasoner? No. Harry just paid me to shoot her. Just didn't care. Stay away. Nice to see you. Her colleagues thought she was unqualified. Harry didn't want her. The press criticized her, and the audience rejected her. I remember reading the headline in one of the papers, Barbara Walters' failure. I felt I was drowning without a life preserver. The Barbara Walters Special. The specials saved my life. Good evening, I'm Barbara Walters. The million dollar contract was not just for me to do the news, but for me to do a series of one hour prime time specials. The first one had President-elect and Mrs. Jimmy Carter. When I say, Mr. President, President Carter, what's your first feeling? And Barbara Streisand and her then boyfriend. It's been three years, why don't you get married? I was criticized for doing specials that had people in the news along with celebrities. You can't do both, but people like them. That first special got terrific ratings. Rune Arledge, the new president of ABC News, invented a future for her. He told her to go out in the world, bring back the big stories. She did. I interviewed Fidel Castro and spent almost a week with him. This is a Cuban patrol boat. 
We are on it with Fidel Castro. That interview was a really big deal. Barbara Walters became the first American to cross the Bay of Pigs since the CIA invasion of Cuba. You feel funny crossing the Bay of Pigs with an American? With friends, America. With friend, America. American, American friends, it's yes. A friendship relation. It's a friendly relation. When Anwar Sadat and Menachem Begin met in Israel for peace talks, Barbara got them to sit down for a joint interview. It wasn't just an act of journalism, it had an impact on the world. President Sadat, you said there might be a somewhat different position down the road. <laughs> uh, you are always like this, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to watch you. Uh, 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 well, uh, uh, this is what people are going to be asking of you. Politics can, can, can be conducted like this. Like <laughs> I have like to that. keep trying. She also interviewed the Shah of Iran, a tough dictator, a really tough cookie. But she took him on about sexism. I'm quoting your majesty. In a man's life, women count only if they are beautiful, graceful, and know how to stay feminine. You may be equal in the eyes of the law, but not in ability. You have never produced a Michelangelo or a Bach or even a great cook. You are schemers, you are evil, all of you. Oh, your majesty, you said all these things. Not with the same words. So you don't feel that women are are, in that sense, equal, that they have the same intelligence or ability? Not so far. Maybe you will become in the future. We can always have some exceptions and find fantastic women. Here but, and there. But, yes. Do you feel your wife is one of these rare exceptions? I prefer not answer. We realized that Barbara was every bit as good as we were and every bit as tough as we were and probably had a couple of other things going for her, too. Rune Arledge saw Barbara as the future of ABC News. He recast the evening news and then recast Barbara's career, not only doing news specials, but reporting for 2020. It was a new chapter in her life. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.